you used to be the favourites perhaps going into a cup tie. We are the favourites, I guess, against Callum Beath. What's your assessment of this one? Yeah, well, I think it's a, it's a big game for us, obviously, and I'm sure Cowden beat they're looking at it and thinking it's a it's a good chance for them to get a big scalp. You know, we got a, our preparation has been good, you know, for the week, and um, but our application and attitude going into the game has to be has to be top drawer, and you know we have to put all the things aside that people talk about when you come into these matches, just about focus on winning the winning the game, getting into the next round of the cup. Well, see, any derby defeat is always a morale sapping blow. How have you managed to lift the players after that? Yeah, it was disappointing to lose the game. Um, didn't think we deserved to lose the game three one. That's for certain. I know probably Hearts had a bit more possession than us, and you know, created a few more chances. But the second half, we were the better side. And I thought at the time of the game when it was one one, eighty two minutes, I thought it was just gonna maybe fizzle out to a, to a, to a draw. You know, so we're disappointed with that. But there's some positives to take out of the game as well. You know, I think the players worked really hard and you know gave everything on the day. And you know, with a little bit of luck, we we, we should have got something out of the game. Can we get an update on injuries and in particular what's the latest with Graham Stack? Uh, Graham Strolling's going to be out for probably a couple of weeks minimum I think he hurt his calf against Hearts and, and that's a bit of a blow for us but we got it. You know, the good thing is we've got a top class goalkeeper keeper coming in to replace him so um, Gary O'Connor's obviously still out um, he's resting his toe and just seeing can we get him back to 100% fitness wise before we get him back, back into training uh, he's been training and playing probably for the last month on, on, with an injury so I think it was just time to come to to sort of give him a break, you know, we've got some big games coming up, but we have a lot of the season left as well. And rather than have him half right or 70% fit for the next while, we want to try to get him 100% fit for the games that are coming up after the next few. So, um, Aussie is probably a week away, probably this week's a little bit early for him, but I would think he'd have a chance for, for next week. Um, and Ian Murray has had an operation today, so he's going to be out for two or three weeks as well. So, um, not ideal, but that's the way it goes, and you know, we'll test the, the resolve and the character of the rest of the squad as well. What's happened with him? Because he went for a scan. Wasn't he given the all clear? Or was yeah, he, he, he was. He's, he's he's had a couple of uh, problems in the hip area and uh, just flexibility, and he's had a little little minor operation just to try help him and that. And you know, hopefully it's not going to be too long. But um, it was just too, too uncomfortable for him. He was getting through training and playing all right, but it was the days after it was he was feeling a little bit sore. So um, just sort of relieve the pressure on the area. We've, he's had a little bit of an operation, so hopefully that works for him and, and we take it from there. You mentioned obviously Graham's injury means an instant recall for, for Mark Brown. To what extent is that uncharted territory for yourself to have two really... Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's ideal because obviously sometimes you come into clubs and they've got one senior goalkeeper and maybe a young boy for backup, but fortunately for us here we've got two really good goalkeepers and uh, you know it doesn't change the dynamics of the team too much where you're not thrown in a young boy into a big cup toy Marcus loads of experience and comes in and he's a very very good goalkeeper so it's not a concern for us from that point of view um, you know so it's a it's a major plus to have to deal with them at that level I see the transfer window is now wide open as a result of that speculation a plenty lots of rumours yeah. around the, in the press and in the, the national media here in Scotland mm. uh, for the benefit of our viewers here on Hibernian TV what's the latest there? Well it's, it's like everything it's a big club and the press seem to know a lot more than we do that's going on um, but like I said before, we're working really, really hard to bring in some new faces to the club. Uh, we're close to a couple of things, but until they're over the line, you don't. I don't want to get people too, too excited and get hopes up. But um, we are, we are doing our best to get people in, and the, you know, through the station here, the supporters of the club, we're the first to know. Um, you know, and we're looking to bring in players, players that are going to improve the squad, um, and then help us in, in in the fight that we're in till the end of the season. Lee Griffiths, obviously, he's scheduled to go back to Wolves next mm. week. Is there still ongoing dialogue? Yeah, it's still it's still where it was. It hasn't moved on. It's um, we want to keep Lee. I think Lee wants to stay. Wolves have made their position clear, so it's probably a little bit of negotiating between the two clubs, and that's where it's at at the moment. Um, hopefully that can be resolved. Like I said, we'd like to hang on to him, um, but it's probably over our hands a little bit at the moment. Gut feeling though, is it something that you're thinking is more more likely than than not to practice? Um, like hard to say, to be honest. Um, if you'd asked me two weeks ago, I said, yeah, definitely, I think it'd be okay at the moment. I'm not too sure. Um, and that obviously gives us a problem if, if Lee's not going to be here and Gary's going to be out for a while, uh, only Lee's is probably with Owen Doyle and Saji at the moment, so um, which which wouldn't be enough in that position. So again, that sort of hinders a little bit in what we can do forward-wise in, in the transfer window. If we know Lee is staying, grand. If, he, if, if we don't, well, then obviously we need to do a little bit of work there as well.